Hello, and thank you for watching this video abstract for the paper titled Women's Awareness of the Periconceptional Use of Folic Acid Before and After Their Antenatal Visits. My name is Mark Meher, and I'm a medical student from King's College London in the United Kingdom. My co-author for this paper is Mr. Ramon Keriakos, consultant, obstetrician and gynaecologist from the Royal Hallamshire Hospital Jessup Wing in Sheffield. Our study wished to investigate the awareness amongst women of the benefit and use of folic acid during pregnancy and to assess whether their knowledge improved following their visits to antenatal clinics in the hospital. We conducted a prospective survey consisting of 28 questions exploring demographic variables, behavioural variables including the use of folic acid and knowledge about folic acid and neural tube defects. The survey was given to each woman who came to attend for an ultrasound scan at the antenatal clinic. The visit could either have been for their dating scan between 10 weeks 0 days and 13 weeks 6 days, or for an anomaly scan usually between 18 weeks 0 days and 20 weeks 6 days. The completed surveys were separated into two groups, one for women attending their first antenatal scan and another for women who had been at least once before either in their current or previous pregnancies. A total of 603 women participated in our study, with around a third attending a scan for their very first time. Around 25% of pregnancies in both groups were unplanned, and only between 14 and 19% of women in both groups spoke to their doctor or another healthcare professional prior to conception. The vast majority of women stated that they had heard of folic acid, with around 98% stating so in each group. However, only between 42 and 52% could correctly identify the medical condition it protected against. The main sources of information on this topic were found to be midwives and general practitioners. Nearly 90% of women who were attending for their first visit were taking folic acid at the time, although only 40% of the women knew that they should take it before pregnancy. When the two groups were prompted to list some dietary sources of folic acid, only between 36 and 46% of women could identify at least one. This is in contrast to around 84% of women being able to identify which foods should be avoided during pregnancy. Overall, our study found that attending antenatal clinic has not increased women's understanding of folic acid. It was clear to see that there is still a significantly high proportion of women who do not know that folic acid, folic acid should ideally be taken before pregnancy and continued throughout the first trimester. We believe that education regarding this topic needs to be improved, starting from secondary school education, and that the primary care team and family planning services should take the lead in providing information on this topic. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video abstract. Please feel free to download our paper and send any queries you may have to the email below.